हेलो फ्रेंड्स मैं सब प्रकाश खुड़ी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन एम एल्यू टेक्सल इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज भिलवाड़ा इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट दी लूज रीड फास्ट लूज रीड वार प्रोटेक्टर मैकेनिजम्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट दी फास्ट रीड वार प्रोटेक्टर मैकेनिजम्स सो एज यू नो दैट द फास्ट रीड वार प्रोटेक्टर मैकेनिजम इज बेसिकली यूज फॉर दी हेवी फैब्रिक प्रोडक्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोड्यूस दी फैब्रिक हैविंग द पिक डेंसिटी मोर so in that case we need to go for the fast read warp protector mechanisms in the loom so in this mechanism the read is as held firm so this name has been given as a fast read warp protector mechanism because unlike unlike your loose read warp protector mechanism there the loose has been loosely held on your read case so that we call as loose read warp protector mechanisms so this here the read is fixed it is held firm and the due to that it has been called as a fast read warp protector mechanisms so in this mechanism has been initiated by the swell with a shuttle in its the box so we will see the construction of this fast read warp protector mechanisms so this consists of having the swell which has been produced from your shuttle box and behind that this swell there is a stop rod finger or we can say that knock off finger has been touches with your swell and the swell is connected with your stop rod finger and this stop rod finger has for in front end we call as a dagger because if you see here dagger is there connected with your stop rod finger and in front of this dagger there is a frog arrangement and this cross rod or this stop rod we call it as it is extended throughout the width of your loom on the opposite side the another dagger and frog arrangement will be there and in that case this mechanism has been fitted on the both the side of loom in this case we can see this frog is connected with your some rod small rod and h is your starting handle and e is your spring which is connected with your dagger and the slice rod so this mechanism we have seen there is a swell mechanism swell is there a is the swell and we have the shuttle box this is your knock off finger this is your cross rod this is your dagger spring and the frog arrangement this small rod and it is connected to the starting end we'll see how this mechanism has been work if shuttle has been trapped in between your shape or shuttle fails to reach to the another shuttle box so first we see with the presence of shuttle in the shuttle box that we call as a normal working of your loom so in that case shuttle has been reached to your shuttle box so how this mechanism has been work you see in this mechanism this mechanism has been initiated with your swell in this in the shuttle box if mechanism is perfect in this action the shuttle reaches the opposite box safely without any difficulty like the if picking mechanism is perfect so in that case the shuttle box shuttle has been reached to the other shuttle box when shuttle moves fully into the shuttle box so they will push this swell away so due to this pushing of your swell they will ultimately pushes backward movement of this knock off finger has been taken place and due to that the partial movement of this cross rod has been done and due to that the rising of your the front rising of your dagger front end has been taken place as the dagger has been rises it will move freely over the frog so it is above your frog arrangement and loom continue to run the second case is here in the absence of your shuttle in the shuttle box that means shuttle has not been reached in the shuttle box that means shuttle has been trapped in between your shade so during that case how this mechanism has been working or activating so this basically this mechanism occurs like when shuttle has been fails to reach to the another shuttle box that could be due to your faulty shading or picking mechanisms so in that case in the absence of shuttle box the swell will not be moves backward so this all stop rod finger dagger and Uh, knock off finger they will be in the ideal position they will not move so during that case 
there is a we can say that this all this mechanism will be inactive in case so there will not be any movement of your dagger the dagger will not be rises up so it really comes in direct contact with your frog so due to that during the forward movement of your sleigh so this dagger will ultimately strike the frog and due to that that is connected with the stop rod and small rod and to the starting handle the knocking off of your starting handle has been, has been taken place so during that the belt has been shifted from your fast pulley to the loom pulley loose pulley and the loom has been suddenly stopped at the front center as well like unlike in loose reed mechanisms the loom can be turned round for the one to two revolution might be the chances but in case of this fast reed war protector mechanism loom has been stopped immediately at the front center only the sudden stoppage of this loom makes the sound that we normally call as a banging off so in fast reed mechanisms there is lot of strains on your swell has been done and there are different parts are there so due to that the reed has been formed here and this is basically recommended for using of for the heavy density or high heavy weight fabrics so we'll see what is the basic comparison between your loose reed and fast reed mechanisms so as we know that the loose reed is basically work on your loose reed principle while in fast reed the mechanism acts due to the swell in the box in loose reed mechanism the reed is firm or rigid only at the front and back center in between that it is loosely mounted during the front center for the proper in proper bit of the reed has been formed and during the back due to for your shuttle passage when shuttle has been traversing one side to the other side the reed should be firm so for that at the front and back center only the reed has been firm in fast reed mechanism the reed is always firm there will not be any loose looseness or anything is there the reed is firm or rigid as i already said in case of loose reed mechanisms loom can stop after one or two revolution but in case of fast reed mechanism loom immediately stops at the front center as well so there will not be possibility of any missing pick has been there while the loose reed mechanism has been used suitable for your heavy not suitable for your heavy fabric that means it has been only suitable for your light and medium weight fabric while the fast reed mechanism has been basically used for your when we want to view the heavy weight fabrics like canvas or satin satin duck so this for that we need to go for your fast reed mechanism should be there and in case of loose reed at the, when loom has been stops there is a little vibration of your part has been done while in case of fast reed as your dagger has been hitting to your frog so there is a there is a much more vibration or we can say that striking of your uh, dagger with the frog has been taken place so that will there is a greater vibration of your part has been there so due to, at the same time as there is a greater vibration the wear and tear of your moving parts has been more in case of your fast reed while in case of loose reed the wear and tear of your moving part is very low so in this lecture we are talk about the fast reed warp protector mechanisms and this is basically used for heavy weight fabric productions if you want to produce the heavy weight fabric that could be your canvas then we need to go for your fast reed mechanism and like in case if you want to produce the light or medium weight we can go for your loose reed mechanism so thank you so much students for this your kind attention stay tuned to my channel and i will upload the next videos coming soon will be there thank you so much